Hey Court, it's Jenna. I wanted to make you another video because I felt so stupid that you couldn't hear me and you're just like, what is this girl trying to say? Um, I really liked your video as always. I'm sure you get sick of hearing that. But I just wanted to make a video because, I mean, I feel the same way. Like, even if it's not on YouTube, I feel like I can't talk about what I'm going through because, um... Maybe that sounds stupid, but people kind of look up to you, look up to me, like, because I'm supposed to be, like, I'm, like, six years into this, you know? I'm supposed to be better. I'm supposed to be on that, at least on the right path. I mean, six years later, you know, and I'm still struggling? That's stupid. So, I understand what you're saying, that you don't want to, you know, you don't want to let people down, and, um, you know, you want to continue that positive attitude and that's great but you know the whole point of being on here and talking about you know everything that's going on in our lives is that we can talk freely and that you know there's no consequences direct consequences to what we say we can really just open up and be ourselves and talk about the stuff that you know races through our mind in the middle of the night and the stuff that we want to say so desperately but we can't say out loud you know because people will think we're crazy at least that's what I think you know can't tell my friends half the shit that goes on in my head because, you know, they'd be like, are you kidding me? You need to go, like, you need to be, like, locked in some institution or you need serious therapy or, you know, what's wrong with you? Don't you understand that, you know, you look fine, you don't have to worry about, does this, you know, look okay on you or does that, you know, make you look bigger? It's all up in your head. Like, I know that it is, but it's so good to just vent sometimes, just say what's on your mind, you know, and not have this audience, you know, like, having expectations that really sucks, you know, the whole point of being on here is to be free of all that, you know, I get, I get that enough from family, you know, you don't really need it on the internet too, <laughs> that'd be, whatever, so I just wanted to put that out there, and, um, I think that everyone's so obsessed with you because you're so in sync with us, you know, or, I should say with, like, the young woman, young anorexic mind, you know, it's like, I, too, think about, you know, what I'm going to wear before I make a video, like, it's so stupid, I'm kind of embarrassed, but, you know, it does cross my mind, I almost did it tonight, but, I don't know, I was like, what can make me look the thinnest, you know, because, I, and I guess, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because this is what, what, this is our lives, this is how we think all the time, so what's, you know, any other, when it's a video going to make a difference. But I am having a pretty rough time, too, especially, like, the last, like, since Thanksgiving, it's just been this downward spiral. Um, my relationship with my therapist is pretty non-existent. Like, I go in, and I don't really want to talk. I don't want to be there. I just talk, like, about superficial stuff. And she asks about my weight or she asks about... I don't know, calories or nutrition or anything like that, and I just shut down. Like, because she said before break, winter break, she's like, if you lose any more weight, I'm going to have to call your parents. And, you know, you're going to be a danger to yourself and this and that. And then ever since she said those things, I just shut down. The reason why she said that is because um, I happened to mention, like, it wasn't even like, oh, let me get your attention. It was like I happened to mention that after I throw up, like, I either, like, black out or... I get like lightheaded or something like that happens and or my heart races really you know like palpitations stuff like that like I want to talk about that stuff that stuff scares me and I want to talk about it freely but I don't want her to be running off to my parents that's not going to help me that's just gonna make you know that's gonna enable me in a sense because they're gonna come rescue me you know oh Jen needs to go back into the hospital or Jen needs to go into another treatment center whatever it is it's like I need to do what I need to do on my own. If You know, I need to make that decision on my own. I'm 21 years old. It's enough already. I'm not 16. You don't need to, like, throw me in some hospital and, you know, make everything better, you know, knight in shining armor kind of deal. Um, so it's like I don't want to talk to her anymore. And I feel like I can't talk to my friends, and I just I feel like this is my only outlet. And, and I only talk on here, like, once every five or six weeks or something like that. You know, and it's not like, I don't know, it's not like we're that close. I mean, all of us in this internet connection, I don't mean you and I. Um, but it's good. I'm glad that I have this. This is the only place where I feel like 
I can be myself and I'm not willing to go to some like eating disorder group treatment therapy kind of session I don't want to do that right now I've done that it doesn't help if anything the girls just band together and become more pot- competitive you know within themselves and it's an even worse environment because then it's like this competition exists anyways I'm rambling but um I was good to see you and you look great and you're doing great and stay on the track and if you need to vent if you need to talk about stuff that bothers you you know talk about it that's how you get better that's that's the part of the path to recovery and um and you don't need to worry about what everyone else thinks I mean if anything everyone's gonna be like oh you're so much more human and more you know for just speaking your mind you know what I mean like I don't know but I hope that you continue to thrive. And if not, I hope that you're willing to reach out. Because that's even more of a strength, is the fact that you could notice that something's wrong. Or notice that you're going down the wrong path, you know. Because we all have that day we're putting on those pair of jeans just kills us, you know. I mean, even the jeans that were loose on me before I started losing a bunch of weight still bother me when I put them on and they're huge they don't I can pull them off without even undoing my belt like they're huge and it's still like brings me to tears sometimes it's it's not rational and it's not healthy to keep all that stuff inside and I totally need to take my own medicine I know but I don't have a lot of time to talk and I gotta go so take care and I hope you can hear me loud and clear have a good night bye